Okay, guys, in continuation with our update that we are bringing to you, we have the latest info here coming to you live and direct. They say that the Eastern Security Network Security. <laughs> oh, uh, what am I even saying? <laughs> Because I won't overhype the security system. <laughs> they said that the Eastern Security um, Network, based in um, Enugu, Enugu branch, am I correct? Yes, that they have, um, you know, caught up with a, a Fulani terrorists, Fulani criminal terrorists, that they have caught up with them. And um, they have recovered a lot of uh, equipment, including bombs. Uh, they, they say they recover, in fact, heavy armory. But before I, I dive into the details of that, let me quickly um, show you this. This is the intelligence coming from IPOB. They say Fulani criminal henchmen terrorists. They are planning to disguise as worshippers to attack churches in Southeast IPOB one Christian leaders. <laughs> you don't read to... Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I have a video of that where they say that they are um, they, they are planning to attack. Yeah, I think I need to play that video instead of playing this Shawari video that doesn't align with um, what I am telling you guys here. Just give me a second and um, we're going to be here with the video. Um, to back it up because that's what that's what we do. We try to um, give you information with uh, backup, backup info, backup on uh, what is happening. What is uh, what is going on? Can I find the video anymore? Okay, don't worry about it. I'm going to send it through um, another means. But the, the the info here is that um, the good news here is that um, they have. Um, <laughs> They have recovered something. That is the most important thing here. That is one thing that you have to um, you have to know. I'm trying to find this video again. We are um, the the police was crying out that uh, Fulani criminals have um, you know um, orchestrated plan to invade, maybe even attack churches in the country now as it stands. So. I'm going to be showing you video, that very video, so you understand what you are standing in Nigeria and in the Southeast as well. So you be at a lot. It is very, very important. Okay, Otara. So let's go there. Let's go there. And uh, secondly, they say that they have replied that devil himself, which is the Omahe of a Boni state. <laughs> now see the video here. Now, if you have not seen, this is what these are the things that uh, the um, Eastern Security Network, Gogo Blessona, what they recovered from those Fulani terrorists, and it aligns with the information that um, IPOB intelligence uh, intelligence gathering brought to us. And then they say that they have replied the devil himself, which is the Omahi of Ebony State. He they said 2023, you can't force us to vote Tinubu, Tinubu of Lake the Jagajaga of Lagos. They Ebony indigenous reply Governor Omahi. I say mm -hmm, that suit him right. That serves him right. No be this one go to determine every time. Oh, Ebony State will not be Biafra. Somebody who is almost out of the system. Somebody who is almost out of a uh, government house is there yarning up butter every time. I forget no so ma ma ge ora eh ora nya ge phone together ye ye the smell. The same thing he is doing when it comes to Biafra is still the same thing he is doing when it comes to politics. When he, after now you say eh it's a shame they they when you betray your own people even the buyer will not trust you. Why he's the number one betrayer? They are number one in flip. Let's drive in and find out what happened. Just in Eastern Security Network disarms full and terrorist hitmen in an Anyiri Enugu state today, being the 15th, 15th of um, June 2022. Items recovered were four AK-47 and many explosives which is uh, these ones that i'm showing here here on the screen these are the things that the uh, eastern security network recovered from them and uh, we are hoping that um, judgment was served because may god in heaven and the land of biafra protect my esn wherever they are as they wage this war against the fulani jihadist warriors So, okay, so this is uh, the latest update that we are getting from Enugu State. And um, also, there's another update where the say Fulani Hesmen went and destroyed and overran Enugu. I'm going to bring you that update in uh, Jiffy to, you know, 
keep you updated quickly let's see how what and and what ipob said concerning the plan of this criminal fulani fulani has men planning to disguise as worshippers that's why churches must open their eyes it's not something that prayers can solve because don't be deceived do not be deceived i repeat don't be deceived by pastors telling you that you are protected by prayers glory raw you have to search and be vigilant physically you can fish out evil perpetrators not by prayers alone prayers fight spiritually but you have to do your own work as a man that's how god has differentiated physical and the spiritual the indigenous people of biafra which is ipob under onion dumas and Kano, has sent a warning to the christian community in the southeast about plot by fulani criminal terrorists his men to attack churches in the region the spokesperson of the group emma powerful who made this known in a statement affirmed that the headers the fulani criminal terrorist headers are already infiltrated commercial cities in the southeast what what a pity and we have governors why don't they go to government houses if they want to carry out attacks and hit the head and stop looking for the tail so fulani if you want to go to the where dave omar is and meet him there they are your invite invitees i'll be invited yeah which one which english have this invitees they are, they, are, they, are, they are your inviters. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, please, which one? No, English. Oh, God. Uh -huh. A more powerful who disclosed that the information was obtained by the M branch of IPOB. You know, yeah? Okay, and they claimed that part of the plot by the criminal Fulani terrorist hesmen was to disguise as Christians and worship in churches. But their aim would be to attack the worshippers. Muna they vigilant. Morona anya, morona anya and the church. He explained that all markets in Southeast were also targets of the invaders. So, President Generals and the people who are in charge of the markets, please, can you set up security that we at least moranya somehow? Uh -huh, to check out these criminals. Just as he advised that the location should be adequately protected. Ndio nature market, please watch out watch out he said churches must introduce tighter and properly detailed security measures and measures and return home early go home early we advise christians and other religious leaders to sit up be at alert and be security conscious as strange seeming worshippers of non-ibo ethnicity would infiltrate their midst to commit havoc they must be on the lookout for Fulani, Fulani persons. In case you never hear, I said Fulani, Fulani persons. You know, no be Yoruba, no be, no be Jo, no be Jo, no be Ogoni people, no be Ikwere, no be Andoni, no be, uh, uh, um, what do you call them? No be Bibio, Fulani, Ndiojo. You must look out for them, for them, okay? Um, they must be on the lookout. And they pretend uh, when they come to join them in pretense as converted Christians. They never convert to, <laughs> they never convert to look out. Christians do not also be deceived into thinking that Fulani don't speak Igbo. Now, you they hear him, oh, that way he's speaking Igbo, he's my brother, he's my. Glory, Ro, he's a terrorist inside your, your gathering, planning, plotting to destabilize Unhunune Meba. Will not let in our people to weep. Please do something fast. Save lives now. Save lives now. Then they say that they also dress like Igbo and behave like indigents because they have stayed there for so long. So many of them were born and brought up in Igbo land, and they they know not just all new. They know all the nooks and crannies. They also understand all events and their sessions. These terrorists and bandits have flooded Biafra land, especially the commercial cities like Aba, others in Abia State, where Pastor William Kumuyi had chosen for his aborted crusade. They parade themselves as having converted to Christianity and are being rejected by their Muslim families in the north. Lori Raw, anybody, anybody where they reject, reject them to, to, to Sahara Desert. Let them go to that place and be rejected. And I want to wait before I give this warning, before I issue a statement, let me finish up with this uh, party uh, information. 
Now, um, they say which for us is tragedy waiting to happen. If they tell you that they have been rejected, also reject them at the same time. Let them be rejected by the whole, whole world. They now attach Christian names to their names as religious tricks to have you accept them. Example, Emmanuel Kabiru Sule. It does not exist. Luriro Ero. Error, error, ping, ping, ping. Computer has detected error. When you hear names like this, Emmanuel Kabiru Sule, cancel such person. They are not for they are not for your Jesus. They are not for your church. They are not for your distant for your worship center. Please send them away immediately. They are not for you. Matthew Christian Shehu. <laughs> Examples: John Lewis Castina and many others. They tell very pathetic stories that touch the heart of people, of conscience like the Igbos. You know, say we like to accommodate people, but do not let them enter you. If not, your household will blow up in the night and you go see yourself maybe for hellfire. Please don't allow them. Uh, allow them. They are terrorists and bandits. Christians in Biafra land should know that they are the next target and they must take up um, absolute security precautions as their plans are deadlier than can be imagined. All market leaders are advised to beef up their securities because market where our people stay and do businesses are another important target for full and criminal terrorists and bandits. They have encircled everywhere, but they will fail and nobody should entertain fear. Because IPOB and the Eastern Security Network is waiting for them. However, be sure to take precautions, precautionary measures, just like this one now that they ambushed and discovered and recovered uh, these uh, dangerous weapons. Let them interrogate them. ESN, kudos to you. Salute. Now they throw away for here. Dangers ahead are too enormous. Be ready for what is to come. Be friends and report suspected movement to IPOB offices around you. Ah, now, wow, wow. where is IPOB offices? I'm going to drop phone number from Germany. Now, that one, they go take the contact to now. Which one be IPOB offices around you? Which kind of your information be that one? Where is IPOB offices? No, be Nigeria government. They, they chase us from Palaka and Palaka. They call all rice. Uh -huh. According to this information, they say we must bring them down. They will not succeed. So this information, the last part now is not interesting. So whoever that dished out this information, they are powerful. I don't know how Onago they make this kind of mistake. It's such a pity, and it doesn't suit our level of intelligence. In fact, we um we are going to deploy our forming committee to um um you know um, 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 swing into action immediately to avert so further tragedy. So market leaders. Be at alert. Our forming committee will still be moving around to make sure that normalcy is restored for our people. Okay? Now, that is that. And uh, before I move to the devil himself, which is the Omahe, on how they have disgraced him, let me quickly tell you, um, so you can hear from the police as well, what they said concerning this criminal terrorist in our land. Hear from our uh, police. Go, 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 go. Me here. See, I'm here. The threat letter was not sent to the churches. The threat letter was dropped at around the headquarters and it was brought to me. I was the one that opened the envelope, read the threat letter. On seeing that, I now invited the Christian Association of Nigeria to tell them about the threat. Whether it is real or not, we have to be security conscious. So I gave them copies of the letter so that they will adjust their programs in the church. Mm -hmm. Instead of closing late, they should close on time. Okay. Thereabout, I now directed all my DPOs. All right, all right. Um, I want to add something to what he said. Instead of closing late, we have noticed a lot of churches when I go, they use Eroboroboroboro, Arabarabaraba, Uruguroboro, Ka, 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 Ka. Now they use and they close late. Be warned now, be warned to close early. Close early, another Sunday day. Close early. When I know they hear, if you like, may they deceive you. May you go there, go stay. Maybe now one leg, they go leave for you. Now you know. 
may you use your common sense. This Christianity they use if they, the money where they want collect, may they collect and fast from you because now business center most of these churches they run. May they collect fast and leave you. No go let them kill you there in the name of you won't go heaven. Maybe uh, now the full any criminal terrorists now then go send you go to heaven where you won't go. Won't run. I bet we will listen to this DPO. To ensure that every Friday, police patrol team must go to mosque and give them adequate yes. security until they finish the Jumat prayers. Equally, on Sundays, all the patrol teams will go around the churches and ensure that they are safe and after the church service before they close. The threat, we don't take it lightly because you don't know who is behind it. And I've advised the Christian community to be peaceful. They should not bother. I'm on top of the situation. Mm -hmm. And I told them that if they have if they notice anything, they should make sure they inform me immediately. Mm -hmm. And they themselves should have their security men to be on guard. If they see any suspicious movement, they should inform me. Because security is not just for the police, it's for everybody. So that's what I did. The letter came to me by investigating. I've directed my SIB to move in to see if we can unravel the circumstances beyond the letter. The DSS are equally working on because I've informed all the security agencies, all, and we're all investigating to get to the root of the matter. <laughs>
A E I S C I D will always be there to make informed comments and opinions on who and which can candidate will be capable, capable to restore and redeem our lost image and rescue our beloved state from the clutches of Omahi's tyranny. Omahi is a tyrant. You don't hear them from them. In the most bizarre manner, Omahi proclaimed that Ohane Zendibu president, Professor George Obiozo, was no longer his president and that he wouldn't have anything in common with the Apex Igbo Sociocultural Organization. In, other worries, in another worrisome media statement credited to the failed governor, Omar he had in a near public threat waggishly um, thundered that the Bonians will only vote APC's presidential candidate, Bola Tinubu, and all APC candidates in the 2023 presidential elections and all that. As in these days of the infamous Roman emperors in the first century, who often, uh, who often centralized authority only in their own hands using the dual uh, control strategy. But Omahe does not control people. He controls his family. I'm not even sure whether that one can control his wife. That one in wife, they beat him there. Hey man, if not for Ami and Mopo the other day and our foreman committee that went to rescue him. Now, on a pot of soup, there'll be one pound for fish. When for collect water, water. Omahe's dictatorship has so grown that he now assumes Ebony and by extension, Igbo nation to be an instrument under his imperial peerage. A ye man, a ye dismay. Even the PDP that provided him the tallest ladder to power and the men who were behind that have all been thrown under the bus by a rap uh, rapacious, rapaciously greedy uh, and selfish devil governorship Omahi of the Ebony State. Uh -huh. Take it like that. The v <coughs> English, this report has finished me. I'm finished here. The <coughs> the vociferous threat that Ebonians will vote his APC and not any other candidate is one of the most undemocratic assertions that chiefly point out how much of a Lord Manor he assumes to have become in Ebony with his prebendial survivalist politics. Muna manage the English like that. Only a man who suffers serial inferiority complexities, like devil himself, the Omar, he would want to force his choice of Tinubu on Ebonians, and we dare that we would not never, he will never succeed in such um, useless suggestions. Speaking of what Omar he termed betrayal in Ibo land, Oluchuku said, when we watched and read Omar, he lamenting frustration, he has been frustrated. They find where I work with Tinubu, I work with Tinubu, it's a rebagano, so that uh, when we watch and uh, read Omar, he lament in frustration about what he termed betrayal from his Igbo brothers at the APC primaries. A E I S C I D, the world over, actually wondered if his frustration was not degenerating into depression. Now, Omar, he is suffering depression. Please. No need to pray for him. I try to be a canal. Yeah, bar. Kaya ga oga rewa knows. Ke ha de la too much. Indi betray yiri. Man zin nam de kano. Taga IPO be a terrorist group. Shameless set of people. Mumu man. In case I don't know whether um to play you the video where he was yanning the okpata that uh, Ebony State is now part of uh, Biafra. We will give Ambele here and you they see him. So those of you who doesn't know who Dev Omahi is, he's the one on the picture here. So um, whenever you see him, he's pregnant. That is his condition now. Nah, you, won't, you won't run. You won't run. Do full and slave. I beg now they are the panji man go another news time fast spent you ought to go so don't forget to share this video like and subscribe and also give it a thumbs up because all the okay all the new one